Good morning everyone, it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas and welcome to Best Hoyas of the Week, Volume 6. And we're going to start this week off with Hoya Species EPC 610 AFF Acuta. Um, this is a wonderful looking Hoya that um, doesn't flower that often, but it's, it makes an incredible specimen plant. I'll pull back here so you can see the whole thing. It's just wonderful, and the thing has just flowered for me um, for the first time in maybe a year. But I love the flowers on this, and they have an incredibly sweet scent. You can see they're so delicate. Very, very pale. That's what I like about them. They don't have a pronounced uh, coloration in the corona. Um, makes them a little bit more unusual. Just a lovely flower. And the scent, you have to experience it. Just wonderful. So, um, not much to say about this. Grows in my regular mix. Lovely leaves. Just an all around great plant. Okay, and from here we'll move on to a number and number a number of different Hoyas flowering for me this week. Here's Hoya species UT247, and it definitely meets the criteria of best Hoyas of the week. Check those red leaves out. Just absolutely phenomenal. This is a very easy to grow Philippine Hoya take a look at the flowers here look at those those are absolutely stunning some of the reddest Hoya flowers that there are this is a gorgeous plant doesn't seem to be that hard to obtain but the leaves really get red under LED lights. I've tried to um, pull it back from the lights somewhat but the leaves still get exceptionally red but it's beautiful to look at. Hoya species NS05-055 this is a phenomenal Hoya that um, I kept for a number of years it's a form of annulata found by Natalie Simonson um, in Papua New Guinea and I made the mistake of getting rid of this Hoya and I've had so many requests for this plant um, since I got rid of it I was fortunate that Julie Kennedy in the UK was kind enough to give me another start of it so now I'm gonna make sure I never get rid of this Hoya look at the leaves on this I think it was a photo on my website of these leaves that made the demand for this plant so high they they look um, absolutely stunning in highlight check that that red out just a phenomenal plant this has to be one of my most gorgeous leaved Hoyas all because of the red lights they almost look like autumn leaves in the fall just a wonderful, wonderful Hoya. One that I will uh, never uh, get rid of again. I will keep it for as long as I'm keeping Hoyas. Just thrilled to have it back. Hey everyone, uh, this is a very strange Hoya phenomenon. So as such, it definitely makes best, best Hoyas of the week. My Hoya Routier, my main mother plant, started to look kind of yucky. The leaves were all bleached out from too much light. So I decided to take some cuttings and start it over and you can see that I've rooted it in water, put it in water. It's got some pretty good roots started in there. But the really unusual thing is this Hoya has flowered in water. These were old pentacles with absolutely no buds on them. They fully budded up and opened. And you can see over here two more old pentacles that have budded up another one budded up. First time I flowered this Hoya it took me three years to flower it. 
and now I flowered it in a month from cuttings and over here this little if you can see it that is a brand new pentacle that grew in water and is budding up so that's what I love about Hoyas they constantly surprise you with all kinds of things that you just never expected Hi, Hoya Wayman I definitely uh, rates best of the week. Um, I had to start this plant over last summer because my plant, I left it up on the windowsill in the regular house last year and uh, it was in a cold window and it just did not like it. I probably overwatered it and I started to lose a lot of leaves so I took some cuttings and this is the result in a fairly short time. It's just absolutely beautiful thing is just flowered for the first time love those little orange flowers but the leaves the leaves are what this is all about look at that just spectacular soft and velvety with that red color I've had Hoya way many eye for quite a long time now a lot of Hoyas come and go with me but I've I've hung on to this over the years just spectacular can't recommend it highly enough and this is a plant I have to say that I keep exceptionally dry probably drier than any other Hoya that I have it's very easy to overwater it seems to get along fine with almost no water in my warm humid grow tent sometimes I'll go a month without watering it and believe me that's tough for for myself a compulsive overwaterer but uh, this plant does not need much water Hi everyone, and we're going to finish up Best Hoyas of the Week, Volume 6, with Hoya Patella. Um, the plant is looking exceptionally good this week. It's covered in buds and a few blossoms. It just doesn't get much better than this. Take a look at one of the flowers. There. There. Buds. Buds. Just, this plant just loves it in humid conditions. Another perfect candidate for the grow tent. Just a fine, fine specimen. And that's it for Best Hoyas of the Week, Volume 6. And I thank you for taking the time. I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya growing tips.